Hey there guys, Rahul here and once again we're back with another weapon guide. Today we're having a look at the Epic M4 Carbine, the 7th unlock in the Carbine series. Now the M4 is actually an iconic weapon featured in many films and video games which makes sense as to how so many people can recognise it today. In real life, the M4 Carbine is a version of the M16 rifle. It is heavily used within the US military and will eventually replace the M16 rifle for most combat units within the United States Army. The M4's design, with having a vast number of interchangeable parts, allows it to be ready for almost any situation. And with it being more compact than the M16, it allows the soldiers to traverse different terrains um, quicker and easier than before with the M16. As well as all of that, the M4 can be fitted with a load of accessories such as night vision, suppressors, laser pointers, bipods, and even, uh, even underslung grenade launchers. So as said before, the M4 can be taken to pretty much any situation and come out victorious. In game, the carbine is a fairly easy one to handle, with its 3 round and burst fire mode it allows you to hit very accurate shots at all different kinds of ranges and take out your enemies pretty quick. The stats of the weapon portray this well as the max damage is 25. This shows how it will all normally take around 2 accurate bursts with, or 3 slightly inaccurate to take out your opponents, which is a really good asset for this weapon. The reload time might see, seem a bit long due to the fact that you'll be um, using this weapon whilst in close quarters, but if you manage to find good cover or get behind a few of your teammates, you'll be fine. When playing with this weapon, there are many different loadouts you can take and um, get ready for different situations, much like in real life. But in the interest of time, I'm only going to go over my favourite one. To start off, I like to use the reflex red dot sight. Now I know this is probably not the best one to use as it blocks out a fair part of the screen, but I really like to use it as it is the American sight and with the weapon being an American weapon, it just feels right to use. Also, one can be very accurate when using it. For the accessory, I like to run either a laser or a light. The light is really good for the darker maps if you want to make your way around and also blind your enemies, but the laser is good as well to bl for blinding your enemies, but also for the hip fire. I guess you could also go in with the laser light combo to um get the best of both worlds. My preferred barrel to use is the suppressor, as I like to be quite sneaky with this weapon, taking out whole squads without them even knowing. And finally, for the grip, I like the potato grip because it helps with steadying your recoil, and it's a potato. How could you not like it? For the positioning I like to use for positioning when I like to use this weapon, I find it great to attack the enemies from any angle, but to stick within 40 meters of them because once you go past that, it's kinda hard to get accurate shots and also it's gonna take a few more shots to actually down a target. This will also allow you to take um within being in 40 meters, it'll allow you to take out your targets within the two accurate bursts, which is quite nifty, and then you can move on to the next target. Also, as there are 31 rounds in your um clip or magazine, I, I would say to reload only once you're down to 5 shots as you will, won't get the chance to do a double 3 round burst. But this is just for gunfights, if you manage to get out of the gunfight and then head over to some cover, I guess you could always reload there. Also try and stick with your squad as well um, because you can help them out depending on what class you're using, as this weapon is a carbine it doesn't mean that you can use it for any class. Now I would recommend to mainly use this with the assault and engineer kit as you do get the med packs and revives for your assault. And then if you are an engineer, you will get your RPGs and um, repair kits, so you can go out and take out armor, but also re repair your own friendly armor. Now overall, I do really like this weapon, it's a great one to use, it's one of my favorite carbines um, out of all of them, and I would definitely recommend you guys to try it out for yourself, there's loads of cool things you can do with it, I've seen people make machinimas with this weapon, as it is a very iconic weapon, like I said, to use for Americans, and um, yeah, just give it a go. The three round burst definitely helps it out and um, I think it's just such a great weapon to use. But that is about it for this weapon review today. Hopefully next time you will um, see the Type 95. That's the one I've been playing with. So that will hopefully be the one you'll see next time. But I've been Rahul. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. And as always, I'll catch you on the battlefield.